Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with them. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. New. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Azdana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway, third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Don't worry, just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, it's just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags broadcast an announcement before we jump there's still some time before the jump I should talk to everyone
welcome to the Interastral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. We will see. Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. The agreement. How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Come with me, take the journey on. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. <laughs> I trust Penacone won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Oh, good idea! A vacation without munching on the go? Unheard of! Mm, but since time off is a rarity, I'm kinda leaning towards savoring the local dishes. Aw, this is hard. 
What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. Not another one. Come with me. <sighs> These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. I'm not there. Turn back. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... No way. This way? After you. Am I supposed to walk up? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? We're almost there. Can you still walk? <laughs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop, don't turn back, don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These voices, they are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. 
Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Reach ships are enough. All or nothing. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Sorry, the dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. We're here. as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, 
the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answer. March 7th still packing her luggage? But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Mm, shall we go meet up with them now? Penacony, the planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. Sure doesn't play around with their enemies. 
protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby! And those endless rows! They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here! <laughs> Where are our rooms? Come on! Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk! Let's hurry up and meet them there! Welcome to the Reverie! May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Welcome to the Reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need assistance with moving your luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. May you have a pleasant... Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've... I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, for Platinum Guest Rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Don Hung. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Dunn. I was cordially invited by the Watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I 
suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Do you know how many credits ten minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. Well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this panic trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Panacone. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Penacony. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Hello, friend. How have you been? I sincerely hope you don't mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. <laughs> what are friends without friction? Now, we're truly acquainted. Please excuse me, I have some matters to attend to, so I must depart, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. 
I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Chermany Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penipony. He is also the organizer of this era's Chermany Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another! But since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday! Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? How does the saying go? Trouble comes in pairs? <laughs> There's also the saying, from misfortune comes bliss. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. For the theater of the mediocre. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream save your favorite happy bits, and create a dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the dreamscape pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait! Our rooms 
are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? Peniconi's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Peniconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Peniconi, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers, or Inquisition spirits, could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this Watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Peniconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Peniconi or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. Who 
sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacony? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacony is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. The decor in here is a little, uh, <laughs> loud for my taste. So this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? <laughs> they say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. The Dream Penacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penacone's history and civilization. Penacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars, a trait that is intimately tied to Penacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Penacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Sugar-free soul glad option. Pentacone is full of living legends. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? my room door open? Hmm? He's... How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but... 
Half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. No, no. I only let you have my room. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Wrong. You're the one I see. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well, or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion, because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end, so I hope that friends don't let me down. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? Oh? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? 
Well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. <sighs> Why haven't you left? Why do I have to? <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Yes, it was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. A blink of a thought in my head. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Ah, uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Seems like it's over. <sighs> Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions.